Hello and welcome. A very good afternoon. We welcome you all to the day five match number four in the grassroots championships. We are here for the national finals and the fourth match of the day between the Father Agnew Multipurpose School versus the Ryan International School in the senior girls category. Of course, we have seen some wonderful matches in the last game. We saw a very resilient side, the Jane Pettit team fighting it out for the best. But in the end, it was the Antonio de Souza High School coming back with three goals. And like the last day, last match, equaling and getting a point out of it. As we move on to the next, the crowds are ready. And we get ready for the game as the girls get ready and we rise for the national anthem of india Prepared the Father Agnel Multipurpose School in blue and the Royal International School from Delhi in green. The home team, this, the Father Agnel Multipurpose School and Junior College. We have seen good support in the previous game in the Junior Boys category. And we wait and watch what happens in this game. Of course, as we get ready exchange of flags and the referee for the game Rishikesh Misale he's ready with the toss so are our skippers and when we get ready as they pose for a picture now let us have a look at the teams of the Father Agnel Multipurpose School and Junior College from Mumbai. In blue, of course, starting from the goalkeeper, Ankita Shinde, Pooja Dhamal, the skipper, Surti Lakshmi, Preeti Varma, Amruta Gladys, Afreen Peerboy, Pranali Shetty, Mamta Acharya, Jyoti Mehra, Akanksha Kandalkar, and Araminta Kamath. Now, looking at the team from Delhi, the Ryan International School, so far have not really had their luck in the tournament. Starting with the goalkeeper, Ashima Agnyotri, Garima Joshi, the skipper, Umang Singhal, Srishti Singh, Kashish Agarwal, Yukta Pandey, Kuvi Kumar, Anshu Achwan, Janvi Prakash, Aksha Safi and Lavneet Nagar. And we'll have to wait and watch. It has not really been a good campaign so far for the Ryan International School. And yes, they'll be playing to win. And we get underway. And the referee for the game, Rishikesh Misale, followed by the assistance given by Ronak and Tapan Ghosh, the fourth official, Amjad Khan, and the match commissioner, Manzur Arfin. As we get ready for the game to start, the referee's official confirmation, the start of the game, the final game for the day. Well, a very strong side, the Father Agnel Multipurpose School and College. Of course, we'll see what destruction and havoc Akanksha Khandalkar, Mamta Acharya, Pooja Dhamal have created in the last few games, scoring more than a dozen goals. And we see the home team will definitely get support and we're having them 
as we look forward to the start of this match. Of course, an initiative by the Reliance Foundation for Youth Sports, where we are trying to revolutionize the system of grassroots in India. In association with the All India Football Federation, aiming towards developing the grassroots, the need of the hour for our country. And with the very same mindset, this tournament, the National Championships, gets underway. And the last match for the day, here we go. Let's kick off at the Father Daniel Multipurpose School Ground here in Washi, near Mumbai. As we immediately, with no delay, see the attack. Well, Mamta Acharya, she has impressed us all with her pace. And in fact, sudden injection of pace, she, she starts in slow and then with a sudden injection, she makes sure she doesn't allow the defenders from the other team to get in line with her. As they move ahead, Janvi Prakash. Pranali Shetty there. The midfielder. Well, it results when it ke it's kept inside by Mehra. And Pranali Shetty now. Well, Shetty has provided some great anchorage in, in the midfield as we now see Amruta. She's a defender, but then she's come ahead as the goalkeeper, Ashima Agnyotri. She has been a busy, a very, very busy goalkeeper. We had seen yesterday what destruction was caused. And the Ryan International School, but they still, at least at the start of this game, seem better equipped and we see the first attempt by that girl Akanksha Khandalkar where she has been the pick of the strikers Akanksha Khandalkar as you could see her maximum well Vishetti with the corner kick she takes a shot a powerful shot And we wait for Amruta to take the throw. And now, well, they've got into the D, but we kept out. And Mamta is calling for the ball. But Akanksha is asking for the ball again and through the center now. Mamta gives it back. She gets it back. She takes a shot. There are these signs of things coming the first half. She takes a shot. We know how destructive the try of Akansha, Mamta, and of course Pooja Dhamal has been in this game. And now Pranali Shetty. Now, wait for the skipper, Garima Joshi. Well, you should have seen her performance yesterday. She was she takes a shot, and this is what we are seeing since the last game. It's not really been a good set well. The ball has come as and the goalkeeper well the Ryan International School have at least managed to reach the goalkeeper it will be very tough for them Surti Lakshmi number 5 who also often comes in ahead to take the shots you'll see her in the latter half of the game Pranali gives it back. There's a very good understanding between these players from the Father Agnan Multi Purpose School as the keeper saves another one. Uh, 
As she collects the ball, fails to collect in fact. As we now see, Mruta came in ahead but it was taken well and well it is started again the skipper this time getting the first goal and it's a header inside and they draw the first blood into the game the skipper Pooja Dhamal gets her goal and we see her again tossing it through the center and now through the flank we had Jyoti Mehra she takes a shot and this will be another goal as mentioned I think the signs of things to change they already scored two now it's Jyoti Mehra Well, she gets the first one, Jyoti Mehra. Two goals into the game, it's Pooja Dhamal and Jyoti Mehra. We already have goal 2-0 into this game. The coach yesterday, in the pre-match interview, had praises for his team. The Father Angan Multipurpose School and Junior College, Coach Suprit Jatana. He took the shot, she took the shot there and it was kept out by the keeper. Now see Shetty. She takes the shot and another goal. Well, the onslaught continues. Again, it's Pooja Dhamal. That goal there from the same position, the same angle scoring. Another one. They look forward. Pooja Dhamal. As we are waiting to see how the girls from Rhyland International School try to defend the continuous low attacks and another one. As now she goes ahead. And it is again that goal, Suthi Lakshmi well it is defended now by Janvi Prakash. As they are now seeing Afrin Peerboy. Promising goals these. Oh, it hits the crossbar and well, she saves it as she made it very well there for Dhamal but the end. Well, they're here for supporting the home team, of course, as playing. It says Mumbai versus Delhi, and the competition. And now, as you now see, Mehra giving the ball inside.
Anshu Achwan. And it will be again that girl Shetty coming in to take the shot. Well, it, there's a nick again. You can again see the Surti Lakshmi now. And she takes a shot, blocked very well. Well, we see, saw yesterday how these girls were stopping it. The primary defended till an extent that well, they're having a one block after the other, one block after the other. They say they won't let it in, no matter what. Even if they take a thousand shots into the goal, we would still wait and defend what we have with us. Get him out! And now there's another chance there for Pooja. She makes it for Kandalkar. And well, they want to see a competition there, the crowds. Shetty again made it very well there now. Pooja Dhamal made it here for Kandalkar. Well, let me tell you, these girls take shot with extreme power. And if there are other boys sitting there, be cautious. It might just come out to hit your face with the power they are striking now. Pooja Damal. Well, the skipper has now a hat trick in a name going into this game. Uh, another good strike there by the skipper Pooja Damal, who wasn't really in scoring terms in the last few games, but now she comes back to show why she's exactly the captain. Well, they're passing. It's been not up to the mark. Has even won into the game. It's again. Mamta Acharya who comes in and well, well, she's finding such angles. The goalkeeper now. now. That's a good thing to do when you know you can't reach you have to call in for others who better and yet another chance there now well the goalkeeper she knew she was going out Through the center. Yukta. 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 Well, they seem to be Akanksha has been slightly defensive. Well, you know what destruction she can create with the very well, she did very well there to keep. Well, they're only giving away the ball when they know. Nadi Shetty gives it back to Surti Lakshmi. So now she'll also be going for a goal. She finds the corner, but it will be extreme towards the corner and not really to the goal. Now there's a change coming in there from the side from Mumbai. We have 13 who's coming out. Of course, Akanksha Kandalkar being taken out and we've had Rucha Bhandari. Ruchi Bhandari, in fact, was coming in. Of course, the coach would like to keep her at the best shape going in into the knockout stages ahead. And 
now we see another attack he's asking for the ball Pranali Shetty and we now see Surti Lakshmi she has she knows that she has no work up there in the defense and that's why she's come ahead Mamta Acharya the bullet Mamta Acharya well now since owing to the let us have a look at the four goals scored so far as a player gets some energy and focus back it would be very interesting to see how things go for Ryan international school year now let us have a look at the highlights and the goals till now And the players are ready. The girls get ready. The Ryan International School. Well, they have to defend at least. takes a shot to find her player Kashish Agarwal among single and now it's Mamta Acharya again to that girl Amruta Gladys Again, moving up ahead, Mehra and of course Acharya there. And well, and the girl, Gladys, she's brought down first, and then the shot taken. Well, on one side, they're having Mamta Acharya, on the second side, we have. Mehra who's creating a real tough time for the girls of Ryan Dash and when you have to clear at least from there you can't afford and she takes a shot and Shetty gets another goal in fact the first goal for, her, for herself and the fifth for a team And already into the game, we have five goals. And the coach, well, the Ryan International School, Satinder Dikor. And what will be going on in his mind after? Goals conceded so many goals into this tournament. And they scored very few. Jyoti Mehra. It would be interesting clash up in the semi-finals and finals, and the when 
strongest teams from both venues. One which has been played here, the Father Agnel School in Navi Mumbai and the other one in Cooperage. Very well done there by Mamta Acharya. She now is going in. Takes a shot, hits the crossbar. And blasted off into the goal. Amruta Gladys. She gets one into her tally as well. Amruta Gladys is there. Look at that. She took the shot entirely. Call and now reading 6 0. Shot taken there. And when she's not down there, she takes a shot and this time saved by the keeper. She saw it coming. The defenders have. Something to say. We saw in the last game where the defenders were actually happy when they were even stopping a ball from getting into their own net. Of course. How would the Ryan International cope up to such onslaughts by and such it's well. This time they hit their own player, the Father Agnes Multi Purpose School, and she'll be getting her to know how it feels when they get the taste of their own medicine. But you see good sense of football there. The senior girls of the father Agnes Multipurpose School and College. And now Gladys. And we are pretty sure she made the coach glad with the performance. Jyoti Mehra and now Surti Lakshmi another good save there by the goalkeeper you see this girl Surti Lakshmi coming in from the defense great physical power now and be a shot taken there. Back, back. Well, there's a change there from the Ryan International School. We have Dipika Pakole, who has come in place of Garima Joshi. Dipika. Pukale. As we get good after the hand for the penalty. Where she's ready. Ash. Well, Ashim Agnotri, he has to take that one. The referee calls it for a re-kick. Morning Mehra of not crossing the line of the 18-yard box. 
here for the shot was taken. The goal wasn't allowed, of course. And she has another chance. Well, it works in favor of the Ryan International School. Well, she. And the score are now reading 6 0. Takes another shot, it hits the footwork. We're having continuous attacks now. Jyoti Mehra, where she misses, takes a save by the keeper. Well, that was a back pass. And well, that will result in a penalty and uh, well 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 in fact it will be a free kick in fact for a back pass and now well do we have the entire team of Ryan International School here she passes it back she forgets she can't give it to the goalkeeper and well the goalkeeper can't get it well now this is a sight the entire Ryan International team is there for the wall well this is something a spectacular view well if they manage to concede a goal even after piling all the 11 players and yes now 11 players can't stop Surti Lakshmi from scoring that's what we can draw out we had 11 players there at least they could have spread out and waited and at least made sure the main thing they forgot was to cover the poles well, it's going very monotonous the game play well and now Coach, of course, explaining the players that a back pass is not expected in a national championship. And and we see that girl was making continuous runs. And again, back to that girl, Mamta Acharya, where she gives it back. They are seven up. As we go ahead and progress with the match, Pooja Damal gives it to Pranali Shetty. She gets it to Akash, Akansha, in fact. And the referee. forward to again that girl Surti Lakshmi who would keep and take that set piece she's already scored a goal and she takes a shot into the stands the goalkeeper has nothing much to do in that case And well, the shot was coming. She took the first attempt, and it's another player who's down.
Well, let's have a look what happened here. She took the shot and well it hit her right into the stomach. But she's very brave. Well, we just hope she's fine. Well, we just hope she's well and well. There's a lot of injury concerns. With the team in blue. And of course, and at the end of the first half, well, dear oh dear, the team from Delhi Rai International School won't have much memories to this tournament. As we come to the end of the first half, it has been seven goals scored by these girls. And well, we have to wait and watch till the half time. We have the final score line reading the Father Agnel Multipurpose School 7 and Ryan International School 0. Let's have a look at the highlights up till now.
We welcome you all back to the second half of the fifth day, match number four, out here at the Father Agnell's Multipurpose School, New Mumbai. And so far into this game, we have seen the Father Agnell's Multipurpose School, the home team, shooting seven goals past Ryan International School. And it might only go up if the Ryan International School until unless they don't decide to stop and take the onslaughts since the start they have been and we now see another Attack been coming there. She takes a shot. Well, she misses it. Well, how often do we see them missing it as we... Well, she saves it. A brilliant save. Well, it, the keeper, she's trying her level best, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure her team doesn't concede any more goals. And now we see Surti Lakshmi taking a shot. She takes a shot, but again, won't suffice and should come with another goal, not coming in into a surprise. The keeper takes a shot. And it's number four. Well, Afreen Peterboy gets one to her name. Afreen Peterboy. And now it's Surti Lakshmi. Well, she has been promoted ahead, it seems. And that girl, Pooja Dhamal, not in the captain's band. As we now see Mamta Acharya. Plays it very well to Surti Lakshmi. They're still playing very close. As the score line is 8 0 and another goal. Number 10 and the typical celebration, Pranali Shetty with another goal. This one a long ranger. The keeper, all she could do was try. And now, Surti Lakshmi as the score now is 9-0. Takes a shot, the keeper saves it this time. Well, what? I hope they know where they have to shoot. And another goal. It's goal after goal, goal after goal. Again, that goal. Well, this shot, Surti Lakshmi gets a goal as the score and now it's 10 0. And now Mamta Acharya, the bullet, she comes ahead. And Mamta Acharya now gets the ball. She has a far post. She can look up to, but she manages to score in the near one. And can he take? But no. And well, this time it's saved. 
Well, that's a goal. The keeper. It'll be a goal, of course, as it crosses the line. And they get another one. And this time, Araminta Kamat. Araminta Kamat. And we have a change from the Father Agnes Multipurpose School. It's number 14 now. We'll have to wait and watch Saloni Badola. And now we see another run being made in through the flanks into the center. And that girl, Pranali Shetty, would get the ball. She takes a shot. And it'll be another goal. Nothing as a surprise. A scoring practice for these goals. Well, but it won't be that easy when they go ahead now in the next game. This one hit the woodwork first and then. Well, I wonder what will be going. As we see, even the defense. Well, the score line already reads 12-0. That girl Surti Lakshmi again. She takes a shot. 12-0. The score line. Be Shetty taking that corner. She takes a powerful one and it's headed inside and scored again. Pooja Damal, the skipper, gets another one into her kitty. Well, a scorekeeper might not really be comfortable there with that one, he might be on his toes. Pooja Tamal gets a fourth goal. As the score line now it's 13 0. And we have seen a change from the Ryan International side. We had Muskan Pandey. Freshly coming in in place of Anshu Achwan. Well, can they get another one here? Surti Lakshmi takes a shot, and well, this time she chose to shoot it out. Talking about the competition in the next games for. As we see another goal there, now Pranali Shetty, well, she's using everything she can out there. And it's Surti Lakshmi takes a powerful shot. As you see another ball coming in through the flanks. She wants to throw it in. There's no other player there. Well, there's now Shetty who comes in. Takes a shot. Well, a good save there by the goalkeeper. She would deny Shetty with another goal. Of course, Saloni Badola. Down it. Down it. 
Pranay Shetty took the shot. The keeper was very alert there. She made the save and made sure they don't take another one. And as Mamta Acharya, the bullet, gets straight into the 18 yard box, she takes a shot. The goalkeeper collects the ball. Well, we saw, we've seen goals slipping it through the keeper's hands as well as the legs. Well, after a long time, we're seeing the ball. And well, it's against Surti Lakshmi. She has left the defense line as she has no work there and she's come ahead. And now, oh, what a shot! And what a goal! And now it's 14. It's Pranali Shetty. Well, uh, Pranali is also done with a hat trick. We have had two hat tricks already Pooja Dhamal and Pranali Shetty. The scoreline now reads 14 0, and they have been scoring in consistency. The team from Mumbai, the Father Agni Multipurpose School, they've had some good games. Of course, the women's team will be very happy to see the young girls going ahead and playing for the Indian national team. Well, she is one such potential as we see another strike and well another goal it's very well taken and we our women's team of course would be looking for such individuals They've had a good time as we see Pranali Shetty. They're having a good time, but they won't have such easy opponents coming into the knockout stages. And the fourth of the semi finals and finals, if they manage to make it, which will be played at the Cooper's Ground. The finals, of course, to be telecasted on Sony 6 and Sony 6 HD. As now Surti Lakshmi. Goes in through the center. She goes past one player. She takes a very poor shot. Well, they can't be overconfident about that one. They have to make sure they give that efforts. So, Tirakshmi, prolific striker. And now we see Afreen Peerboy well, and another goal. She takes a shot again. Of course, Afreen Peerboy. Well, they're on a rampage here. As the scoreline reads, Father Ragnar School 16 and the Ryan National School 0. And now... Coming up, it'll be outside. And as we await a throw from the skipper there. 
a foul throw well a foul throw can't expect as the bullet goes straight ahead she maneuvers in perfectly into but she's unable to take the shot and we get down into a uh, drinks break these girls well they have been there still that they have not given up that's the best thing about the ryan international school they'll still wait there they'll complete the game and make sure they complete the game and exit now coming back Let us have a look at the goals of the second half. As we get back, the players, well, the coach might be telling them they have to still stay there for another quarter and give it the best shot. And so are the players. Of course, nobody likes losing. These girls, of course, will be going ahead. the coach of course suprit jatana should not become further complacent about his team's performance but he should make sure they keep up the spirit it is good for a team winning convincingly but that shouldn't result in overconfidence the players as she has something to tell to her players she has done brilliantly so far as we get ready for the start going up ahead with the score line 16-0 and we'll have to wait and watch if they can or in fact how many goals they'll get well well she's laughing and she can afford to do that afreen peer boy She takes a shot again. Suffers a sim suffers a similar fate. Can't really get out of the D. Placed very well. Surti Lakshmi gets another goal. She is a defender, but she is almost equaling the likes of Pooja Dhamal in the number of goals. As the 
scoreline now reads Father Agnell Multipurpose School 17, Randall National School 0. As Mamta Acharya gives the ball back, she changes the position. Mamta Acharya, but this time. Well, she took the shot there. Now the shot being taken. Now they will be awaiting a throw in their favor and they get it. As the girls get a chance. The girls from Delhi get a chance. As they move on to get another one into this competition, Mamta Acharya would get another goal. And well, it's given offside. Well, the key saved by the keeper. We have a change from the Father Agnes Multipurpose School. It will be number 12. Who will be coming in for the skipper, Pooja Damal. She's had a wonderful game. The skipper scoring over four goals. And she'll be replaced by Clarissa Lobo. She hands over the captain's armband to Surti Lakshmi. Now she'll be the captain, Surti Lakshmi, of course. Well, she's been neck to neck in terms of scoring with Pooja Damal, but she'll still be the defender, and the shot goes up. And well, she takes the throw. We have seen in the entire half in, in the backyard of the Rand International School as she comes in for another. Well, she misses this one. Well, it seems they too are tired of attempting the goals. But Mamta Acharya, she'll be a happy girl today. She knows her team is going through.
we go down well they're trying to keep the ball out as much as possible even if it meant to kick it for a throw in as long as they consume time as Mamta Acharya now gives the ball she takes a shot and she misses Preeti Burma now getting into the act well it's a goal kick And she does another goal. And well, it's the 19th goal. Well, they are a happy lot. She scores another one there. Well, the score line, as we now getting it confirmed from the fourth officials, it reads 18 0. As we get to the few final minutes of this game. It's 18-0. Can they get another one here? And now they has a, they have a chance. He takes a shot, and 19-0 is the score line. And now they score the 19th one with such ease, and they're also happy about it. But well, there's been a walk in the garden for these girls in this game, in fact not only in this game, in most of the games. And we wait a change, the last change probably of this game, it's number 14. It's Ritu Shukla, number 14 who comes in. Probably one of the last moves. As they now get down to another goal. Well, this can be another one. As well, she says, she's, she saves it. And going ahead well. As we get down to the few final minutes of this game. We'll wait and let's see if they can make it to 20. Lovneet Nagar, she takes a shot. Well, I don't know where it is directed. There's definitely a lack of power and strength, but at least pass and take ahead your team. And it's denied by the referee. It should be a tired goalkeeper today. And Lovneet Nagar will be taking the shot. Well, she directs it outside. Well, in fact, she doesn't. And well, 
Well, and if it stays like this, they will definitely progress to another goal as she clears it out. As it stays out, and now it's... And she has another chance. Well, she misses it. And we await the few in the final last attempt. Well, can they make it? 20 0. And the answer is no. Well, there's a sudden burst of energy into the. And the game ends. And well, so far, well, it has been a tough day for these girls. And well, on one side we have victory, on the side we have a huge loss. And the girls from Mumbai, the, and a hard fought game, at least for them, the Father Agnew Multipurpose School and Junior College would be victorious in the last game for the day here at the Father Agnell Multipurpose School. The home team has done justice to its crowd. You'll have to wait and see what they come out to do into the next stage as we bid Adeyu into the final as the game ends for today. Keep on watching the national finals of the Grassroots Championship here at the Father Agnell School, Mumbai. And now... Let's have a look at the highlights. 